Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peter. It's been a few weeks since my last upload and sorry for that, but now I'm back and I'm back with a video about one of the things that can improve your accuracy because today's video is all about finding the right velocity. Many of you can relate to this situation. You hear the range, the gun is shooting perfectly and pack up your things and uh, go home. A week later, you come back and you start shooting. You haven't touched the gun, you know that the gun is shooting exactly like it did a week ago, but still the accuracy is not there. So why is that? There are a number of things uh, that affects your accuracy and um, one of the things is of course the weather and I'll talk a bit more about this in the conclusion after the shooting, but the thing that we're going to focus on today is to find the right velocity for the right day. So right now I will shoot uh, the gun at uh, three different velocities uh, quite close uh, to each other and I'll shoot uh, here at uh, 100 meters and see what kind of difference uh, this uh, change in velocity does. I'm shooting my FX Impact M3 in the 177 caliber and I'm shooting my favorite slugs in the whole wide world, the 16 grainers from San. So with that said, let's go in to the testing. I'll start out at around 972 feet per second shooting four five shot groups and I'll show you the best one. I'll just take a few shots and then I'll go for it. This looks absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, uh, it looks like this, and you can see that they are very respectable groups, but for some reason uh, I had a problem keeping count of the shots in the, in the first couple of groups. So um, the first one on the left is a 2.3 centimeter group. The one on the top left, the one that you saw me shooting was a 2.2 centimeter group. The bottom left um, group is a also a 2.2 centimeter group and the bottom right is a 2.8 centimeter group. And as you can see here, um, the average uh, velocity was uh, 974 uh, feet per second. So now let's move on to the next velocity. Okay, moving on to the next velocity and uh, as you can probably hear in the background there's a chainsaw going and uh, it's because uh, this is not uh, really my own place, this is the owner who owns the forest that I'm shooting in, so uh, yeah, that's just how it is, I hope that you can, uh, you can cope with it, but um, I'll shoot in the exact same way as I did before, shooting uh, five uh, 
four five shot groups i'll try to keep track of the shots uh, this time and the velocity that i'll be aiming at uh, shooting at this time will be uh, just around uh, 960 feet per second so uh, a bit slower than uh, than the first uh, attempt uh, which yeah actually showed to be at uh, 975 feet per second so yeah I'll take a couple of shots uh, uh, before uh, going for the groups and I'll show you uh, the best group. Nine hundred. Sorry, sorry, sorry guys. As you have of course already noticed and what I sadly just noticed is that uh, I forgot to turn on the camera uh, at the target. But anyway, it uh, looks like this. You can see the four groups, uh, this time I managed to keep track of uh, the shot count. So started out with uh, the one on the top left, a uh, horrible four centimeter group. Next one, uh, top right, was at 2.6 centimeters. Bottom left was 2.8 centimeters. And bottom right was the best group at uh, 2.4 centimeters. And that gives us an average group size of 2.9 5 centimeters so we are still sub MOA here at uh, 100 meters. The average velocity was uh, 960 let's see <laughs> I just forgot I think it was uh, 964 uh, feet per actually 963 feet per second so uh, until now it, it seems like uh, the velocity at around uh, 975 was uh, is uh, the better velocity but uh, let's move on and um, and raise the velocity just a little bit For this final part of the test, I have uh, raised the velocity to uh, just past uh, 985 feet per second, uh, more likely uh, 986, 987, just to, to keep the difference between the groups uh, the same at around uh, 12 feet per second. So, doing the same thing again, um, yeah, four groups, five shots, and I'll show you the best one if I uh, remember to uh, turn on the camera, that is. So, yeah. Uh, I'll take a few shots and then um, then uh, start shooting all these mosquitoes. Yeah, not shooting the mosquitoes, but uh, shooting the target. Nine hundred eighty-six. Nine hundred eighty six. Nine hundred ninety. Nine hundred ninety. Nine hundred eighty-six. Wow. I bet that you guys are looking forward to seeing the result of this. I shot um, uh, all four uh, targets at uh, an average velocity of an 987 as I meant to. So there are uh, 12 feet per second uh, between the, the velocities of the three groups but yeah anyway the result uh, <laughs> here at uh, 987 feet per second looks like this as you can see the group that uh, that you saw me shooting was at uh, 1.8 centimeter which is uh, yeah very 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 respectable anything below uh, two centimeters is uh, something that uh, that i actually tell my wife about um, but um, i started out with uh, the top left at uh, 3.6 next at uh, 1.8 and then at uh, 3.2 and the last one at 4.1 centimeter so that gives us an average group size of 3.1 
0.75 centimeters. So even though uh, I shot the best group here at uh, 987, it was still the, um, the, the biggest average uh, group size. Before we go into the conclusion, let's take a little Q&A with Viking Air Gunner. I get asked quite a lot, why don't you use a magazine? And well, the answer is actually quite simple. Because when I'm shooting a magazine, I tend to fire too fast. And by firing too fast, I lose my focus and I shoot like a monkey. So that's where the single loader comes in because when I'm using this, there is a certain procedure that I have to go through to get from one shot to the next. So I could do that very fast and uh, rush myself through this procedure, but instead I just try to calm myself down by controlling my breathing, lowering my heart rate and just keeping the focus on the next shot. And when I position myself at the gun just before uh, firing the shot, I take a deep breath and then I'm ready to deliver what is hopefully going to be a perfect shot. So with that said, now let's drop into a conclusion of this video. And the conclusion goes like this. Here you can see the three different targets and uh, it's uh, very clear to see at which uh, velocity they perform the best. So no doubt that uh, 975 is the velocity for this day and for this weather. But this uh, leads us on to uh, some of the factors that is um, very much playing in when we're shooting air guns because if you want um, your accuracy to be the best as possible, you need to consider the velocity almost every time uh, that you go shooting. Um, of course, it's uh, more obvious when you uh, make the switch from uh, uh, between the seasons, from yeah, from uh, winter to to summer, because uh, then there's a there's a huge difference uh, in weather. Uh, of course, there's the temperature. Uh, there is uh, perhaps also uh, the air pressure, but uh, very uh, importantly is that there is a, a very big change in the air density, and that is uh, basically the uh, molecules in the air uh, being much closer at, uh, at colder weather than in warm weather, where they are um, further apart. And for the slug to pass through um, cold or uh, hot air makes a big difference, and you will most likely see that uh, you are able to shoot at um, much higher velocities uh, in uh, the summer than you are in the winter. And the same goes if you uh, consider altitude. Uh, we don't consider altitude too much here in Denmark because uh, our highest point is like uh, 170 meters above sea level. But if you are going to, uh, like, uh, 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 to an altitude of uh, say um, 1000 meters uh, higher than sea level, it is definitely going to make a change uh, in the velocity that you're shooting at. So these are some of the things um, that, that plays in uh, when you're shooting air guns. So always um, be aware that because your gun is not performing uh, well uh, the day after uh, it's been performing just uh, perfectly, there is uh, all, uh, always an explanation for this. And for this um, this gun, I have uh, shot. Um, I think I've shot my best group ever um, at um, at 100 meters at the velocity of uh, 963. But as you can see today, um, yeah. The, the results were not there at 963, um, mm -hmm. but uh, they were much better at uh, 975. So the grand conclusion of this video is mind your velocity and um, be open-minded that every time every time you come to to the range you might to have uh, you might have to do uh, just some uh, small adjustments to, to the velocity. And of course, this whole video is for guys who actually cares if your group size is a uh, uh, half a centimeter smaller uh, uh, at 100 meters because if you're one of those guys who just want to uh, to smash in a five centimeter group and you're uh, all uh, happy with that um, this is 
perhaps not too relevant, but for me and a lot of other guys who are aiming to get the very best out of your gun, even if it's an, uh, an Impact M3 or if it's any other gun, um, we are uh, a lot of people who, who really does mind the group size and to get the group size as perfect as possible, even without uh, going into competition shooting. But that was all I had to say for this video. I hope you enjoyed it very much. And if you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there in the corner because it really helps out my channel. So with that said, until next time, take care and shoot safe.